All right, everybody, it is turkey season eve here in Indiana. Today is, what is it, like the 24th? Wife's with me today, so, because neither of us wanted to hang out by ourselves, so she came with me to do some turkey scouting, so. I've got a couple different pieces I have permission on, and this was a, this is a piece that I was really optimistic about. This is a piece that I deer hunted a lot last season. And where I think these turkeys are is not the property that I have permission to be on, unfortunately, but it is like a neighboring property. So that's something, I guess. <laughs> it's getting rainy and nasty. I don't know how many birds are gonna be out this evening. We've seen a couple, we saw one or two on our way up here. It's like an hour long drive. So I went youth hunting Saturday and Sunday um, on some public land, and the birds just did not gobble hardly at all. Um, I don't know what's going on with the birds right now. I've heard, according I think according to Realtree's strut report, they're still flocked up, which is weird because like all the turkeys I have seen so far have just been like lone hens out in these fields. It's like, where are all the toms? I don't even see any jakes. Like, where's the toms and jakes at? I broke my other camera, so we're just improvising with this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a clump of grass. A very turkey looking clump of grass. We're gonna drive down the road a little bit to um a different spot where we can see this field better. So my functioning theory about these birds, well just about turkey hunting in general, is that I feel like they prefer these little hay fields to everything else. You just want to be in fields in the first place because they're strutting turkeys and they want to be out in the open. And then, and so they've got two options for that, right? They've got ag fields that have not been planted yet, and then they have um, hay fields. And these ag fields get sprayed with so many chemicals that all they really grow in the off season is rocks. And I've, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like the if like a turkey is going to look in a field for bugs and seeds and stuff that they can eat, they're not going to be able to eat anything out of an ag field. Like they're going to be able to eat a lot more stuff out of a hay field because typically hay fields aren't like uh, heavily sprayed the way that ag is. So I don't know. So as you all can see, it's pouring rain right now and it's only supposed to get worse as the evening goes on which kind of sucks but I was hoping that we still might catch a couple out in the fields tonight but it's not looking like it unfortunately I am gonna hang out till it gets a little bit darker and probably see if I can hear some gobble back there the good news is tomorrow is supposed to be clear and sunny and warm compared to every other day this week so tomorrow, I have a feeling that they're gonna be hitting these fields hard right after this rain. All right, y'all, it is opening day. Um, I came out here to the spot we were scouting last night. We didn't see anything yesterday, didn't hear anything. So I really don't know what to expect. The good news is the rain's gone. Uh, the sun's starting to peak up already. So I'm gonna have to get out here in a couple minutes. All right, y'all, let's see if we can at least go and hear a couple gobbles this morning. Not sure what to expect. Um, we're gonna go give it a shot. Literally the most pristine, beautiful perfect hay field i've ever seen in my life and turkeys are just like nah it's unreal <sighs> this is shaping up to be a rough season guys not sure how we're gonna kill turkeys if there's uh no turkeys that'll gobble oh yeah i made some friends back here hi look at all of them 
All right, so that was even more of a bust than I thought it was going to be. It's now 8.07, I have packed up. I literally walked all around this property, called, looked, nothing. Not a single bird on this, or even the neighboring properties for that matter. <laughs> I mean, there is not, there is not a bird in sight. I'm heading to another spot. I'm slightly more optimistic about it because I know for a fact there's at least hens over there. So if there's hens, maybe there's gobblers. I mean, at this point, I'm not gonna make any assumptions because I just assumed that turkeys have gone extinct from this area. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna head over there and see what we can get into. I just came over to the next spot and I didn't hear anything, but in this field over here, there's a strutter and a hen together. They're on the side of the field that belongs to the neighboring property, so I'm gonna have to call them over to this side, but we finally got a bird. Let's go. <sighs> okay. Nice and calm. Well, that was disappointing to say the least. I'm not really sure what happened. So I belly crawled out there, put the jake up, belly crawled back, and the bird was still in the field. Like I didn't spook him doing that. But I was moving around different parts of this corner in the woods, trying to find the best place to set up. Um, Cause there's like a house and a barn right over here and I'm not trying to shoot in that direction. And if I get the right angle on it, then I'm totally safe. So I was trying to find the best spot. And I think maybe while I was moving around, they busted me or maybe he didn't bust me. Maybe he just didn't care and moseyed on into the woods. All right, guys, the story continues. I packed up all my stuff and decided to walk back up to the field at a different position where I could see the whole field. And he's still in there. Like he's still in there, just completely alone. So now I'm trying to devise a plan to get back up there and kill him because he's completely alone, just hanging out in the field. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna go kill him. So, he was 60 yards, which like, even still, I've shot that far, and like, I know I can kill stuff that far. That was, that was all me. <laughs> I guess I just pulled it, I don't know what the deal was. I thought I was so ready, I was dialed in. Like, I knew he was coming in. I was hoping he would come into the field because he was gonna come, there's this giant tree in front of me and he was gonna come one of two ways. He was gonna come right of the tree and be in the woods, which I didn't want to happen, but I was ready for. Or he could have gone left side of the tree and gone out into the field and I had this perfect little opening where he could come through. And I saw him poke his head out and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's coming into the field. And I got so excited. Point the camera over there, ready to go. He walks right into that shooting lane and he's poking his head around. Like he's definitely nervous. He's not, he's not fired up. I mean, he kind of quit gobbling so frequently too, right before he popped out. So he was definitely not feeling it. Um, and he pokes his head out in the field. He's looking for the hen that's not there. And he sticks his head up, put that bead right on him. And then I guess I pulled it or something. I found like one feather on the ground. So I think I just may have grazed him a little bit, but he's gonna, he's gonna live to gobble another day. So I suck, 
but we'll get back after it one of these days.